Good evening, my dear patients. It is I, Dr. Moxmo, here with you tonight to present to you the second half of my three-year anniversary reboot special. Tonight's story comes from my second year of narrating. In fact, it was posted almost a whole year ago from today. I initially recorded this one in a bit of an odd phase in my career. I was trying to take my YouTube hobby far more serious than I was beforehand and quickly became obsessed with the idea of posting multiple videos a week in a schedule format. Though this fixation assured consistency and taught me how to manage my time better to accommodate my full-time job at the time with YouTube, video quality was something that began to lack. With every video posted, it felt like the dedication and time taken to each reading was reduced, making them not even worthy of a listen and downright disrespectful to their creators. It was when that video was first recorded that it put the brakes on that decline, thanks to some firm criticism from some peers. It taught me that it's not being late that secures failure, but rather it's a lack of care. When you are in a position of creating for a hobby, you have the freedom of not being entitled to anyone. You are not restricted by a superior force into places you don't wish to be in. You are in it to make yourself happy and those who support you through your endeavors. I encourage you, the next time you choose to pursue where your passions lie, not to seek the approval of others, but rather your own satisfaction, as it's you that needs to be happy with what you create before you can expect others to enjoy it. You are in the driver's seat, so what journey shall you set yourself upon? Now, without any further ado, please sit back and relax. Your mind is an open canvas. The story and my voice are the paint. What image shall you create as we delve into the tale of the nothings that keep you up at night? Written by All Things Cinnamon. Your eyes squint and blink as they try desperately to adjust to the dark. Finally, the green numbers on the cable box slither into view. 3.26 AM. You can't remember waking up, but here you are. What woke you? It's happened dozens of times before. You wake up in the middle of the night for no reason. Usually you are just able to roll over and drift back off into dreamland. But tonight, you wonder. You listen hard, barely breathing so as not to miss a sound. What do you hear? Do you even have a face clock? You must have one somewhere, because the sound of the second hand ticking away, torturing you with an eternal countdown, is getting louder and louder. That's all there is. The silence against the constant nagging of time swells in your throat. Your room is still and ominously peaceful. With all this emptiness, you can't shake the feeling of dread, of feeling totally vulnerable to the night. What 
woke you. Panic slowly starts to leak into your body as you beg for something tangible, something destroyable to show up and claim responsibility. But nothing. You try to go back to sleep. What choice do you have? But something woke you up last time and you know it will wake you up again. You get up, curling your fingers around the sheets and slowly crawl out of bed. You can feel it, whatever it is, waiting to wake you up again. You look, but there are no monsters under your bed. No serial killers hiding in your closet. No psychopaths waiting outside your window. Just the darkness, the silence, and the ticking. So, what woke you?